Welcome everyone! Today I will show you a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to add sound effects to your D&D 5th edition games in Foundry Virtual Tabletop. Please subscribe if you enjoy the video and want to see more. The first step is going into the video description and downloading the required modules for automatic sound effects. This lets you add sound effects to your weapon attacks, spells, and actions. I recommend clicking the link for more videos which will bring you to our best selection of Foundry VTT tutorials and top 10 world building modules. After you download the modules, go to game settings in the top right and click on manage modules. This will let you activate your modules. Then click on configure settings. This will let you customize your modules. Scroll down and select the MIDI QL module. Then click on configure MIDI custom sounds. If you want to set up sound effects in less than one minute, then I recommend the following. Click on Quick Settings, click on Basic Settings, Save, and Restart Foundry VTT. Done. This enables standard sound effects for when you attack others, cast spells, roll a critical, or roll a fumble. If you want to upgrade your combat experience to the next level, I want you to copy each roll I have in the Sounds tab. You can add rows using the Add Row button at the bottom. You can change the settings using the drop down tabs. Here is the main challenge. The module does not come with many free sounds for you to use, so that means you will need to search the internet for sounds to use. It is very difficult to find free, high quality sound effects without the risk of computer viruses. After you download your preferred sound effects, add them to your sound playlist. You can do this by going to the top right and clicking the icon that looks like a musical note. Then click the create a playlist button, add a name, then click the plus button on the new playlist to add sound effects. You will notice another playlist that is named MIDI item tracks. Those are the default sound effects that come with the MIDI qual module. Now go back to configure settings for the MIDI qual module and add those new sound effects to the sound drop down tab on the right. Then select the sound effect that you want to play when your characters do that particular action. For example, I have it set so that when characters do a melee weapon attack, the Weapon Swing 11 sound effect will play. If you want even more customized sound effects in your games, then go to Quick Settings and click on Detailed Settings or Full Settings button. This sets up a table of complex sound effects that let you connect sound effects to specific items or spells. I decided not to do this because it takes hours. After you're done setting up the table, I recommend creating a combat encounter and testing out your new sound effects in a battle. Make sure you add a variety of monsters so you test out all action and damage combinations. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for tuning in. Please subscribe if you enjoyed the video and want to see more. If you have any comments or questions, let me know in the comments section of the video.